Boom. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. This is not really a skating video, but there will be some skating in this video. Here's the thing. This is the Insta360 ONE X2 and this is a camera that a lot of the skaters use. If it's not the Insta360 ONE X2, it's gonna be the Insta360 ONE X or the Insta360 ONE R or one of those GoPro Fusions or GoPro Max. It's basically a 360 camera that has one lens on each side and then each side films 180 degrees, meaning that when you go out and film, the whole world is being filmed that's basically it you might have seen people using uh, a camera that you don't see what's filming them it looks a lot of people even ask like is that a drone basically it's something like this and because it's filming everything but not exactly in the line of the camera underneath it looks like there's nothing holding the camera but there's a selfie stick. Now the problem with this camera is that the lenses are very exposed. So this is my, from Insta360, it's my third camera and I also had the, the, the GoPro Fusion. Every single one of my Insta360s, I've been falling with them and then this happens, it scratches. I actually made a video with this the other day saying like, yeah, because this camera was given to me, because it was given to me by Insta360, I can do what I want. So, this camera was given to me by Insta360, so let's not be scared and take advantage of it. I didn't fall with it. I actually pushed it a little bit. I didn't fall with it. Later that day, I went out for lunch. I was capturing that footage. This thing just poof, fell. I wasn't using this little cover that I usually use to cover the lens. And now, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of a scratch. You might think, ah, but that's nothing. Well, it wouldn't be nothing if the lenses weren't that important. And basically there's something showing on the clip that it's really, really annoying. So I went online, I started looking for ways to fix this. There's two ways to fix this. One of them is just ship this to Insta360, which is in Hong Kong, I think, or in China. You need to ship the camera and it takes at least two weeks for you to have your camera back. And it might be, a bit expensive. If it's just one lens, it's I think it's about $100. But if it's two, if you really let your camera fall, it can be up to 160, which is almost half of the price of this camera, or at least a third of the price of this camera. So I find out that one of the solutions used for little things like this is what they do to the cars. Basically, you can polish it. So we went out and we bought this polish I think that's how you call it and then we're gonna use a Dremel with I still need to check what I'm gonna use but I think there's like one which is a foamy one I need to check if I have it I think it's there it's one of these foamy little things that it's going to be polishing the lens so that's what we're gonna to do today so come with us on this adventure don't know if this is going to work or not as I said I first need to see if I even have the discs for that I might not have it huh? oh, this is a polish one a polishing one it's a little foamy thing so I've been told that I should do it very smoothly I don't even know how I'm gonna use this guys Let's hope that this video becomes something good because I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I don't even know where this turns on. Just for you to have an idea of... Yeah, important. From what I've seen, this should be on the minimum speed. So, now we're talking. Cool, huh? Pink socks. Apparently, if you go... 
if this is spinning too fast, you can burn this top layer and then it's really a mess up. So the thing is, at this moment, this is my only option. This is my best option because if I don't do that, oh God, I already messed up. I've never used anything like this and I wasn't ready for it. So, <laughs> okay, let's see. A lot of places they say that it might become of a little bit of a annoying process, so we'll see. I've seen most of the people doing this, they were actually covering the rest of the camera. Just thought about that now. Maybe I should have thought about that earlier. I don't even have tape for that, so worst case scenario I need to clean it, so it's not a problem. So let's see what we're doing here. Hmm. What do you think? Look at this. You can still feel it, but if, uh, you feel it a little bit less. It kind of feels like I burned a little layer there. Apparently when you do something like this, it's like a coat on this lens that will be like a, a ray like a shining protector, but now you might be thinking, why are you doing that? And there's some protectors that you could put on the lens. Well, if I would put the protectors on the lens, this wouldn't happen. That's for sure. One of the reasons why I don't like those protectors, it's because it really affects the quality of the filming. It kind of feels like when you use those protectors, it loses a little bit of the detail on the camera. So that's why I don't like to use them. Now, the thing is, probably after doing this, it's also going to lose that detail if it loses that coat on top, that shining protector coat. But we'll see. At least I'm trying. If you go on Google and if you Google this, <laughs> how to fix the Insta360 camera with a Dremel or something like that, or polishing the lens of the Insta360 camera, you'll see that everyone actually uses, they, they protect around the camera. Uh, maybe I should have done it. If you're watching this and you don't know what an Insta360 camera do, or does, well, let's, let's make it work so that you can see. So let's get here. Let's see if I messed up a lot or not. Okay, this is the other side. It's still there. See that? It's still there. It's not too bad, but it's not too good either, especially on the darker parts. I'm gonna keep going. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to do something with this. Let's go. I mean, if, if it works for some people, why wouldn't it work for me? Maybe I really only know about skates. But at the end of the day, this thing is round like a wheel, so it should work with me. Because wheels tend to work. It doesn't seem to me like it's very far from being done, but I just... The thing is what it feels and what it is, it's different, right? It still looks like it's there, but it's, it's subtle, huh? it's not really like a big thing, but yeah, look. 
But this can also be, it's dirty, you know? This is probably everything you shouldn't be doing, putting water here. But I think probably the best would be using like some sort of a microfiber or something like that. But now let's look there. Look, it's still a bit there. No, but this is the dirty part, right? Yeah. This is very the dirty part because the middle, right in front of me. So right in front of me. I think this part is fixed, huh? It is fixed, look. Now, there's these things here on top, but these are the dirty parts that I need to clean. If I clean them better, see, there's all those little dirty things. Now, the thing is, they say on one of the, the tutorials we watched that at the end we should put a little bit of toothpaste. So I think better would be cleaning these with a microfiber, with a microfiber cloth, which is usually what's the best to clean lenses. And then at the end, we do that. But like, let's check this out, check. Those two things are still there, man. It's on top, because there, I point the camera to me forward. I think I can still do that a little bit there. I hope I'm doing this right. I do not have any microfiber cloth, but Alex does. So this is the same thing that you use to clean your glasses. I do have glasses, but they are always dirty. Man, I might be saying something wrong, but it looks to me like it's this it's good. It's, I, I see a little bit of a thing there, but it's very minimal. Let me see. Connect now. No, it's not. This is the one. It's still a tiny bit there. Whoever made the, the videos that we saw, they say you need to be very patient, which is not really the case here with me. If you know me, you know me. I think that video was done for me. Yeah, but I still see a little bit of a thingy there. The thing is above my finger is still there. Let's see if I point it to me. Yeah, it's that thing. See it? There? On my face now? Yeah, right there. Still there. It's all this area. Let's keep going. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we're done. It feels like so small, man. It looks like so tiny. It really looks like very tiny. Now the problem is that the paste is starting to dry, which I didn't know that could be a problem, but it is. Because honestly, when I look at it, it only looks like it's one, but a little bit on top. Do you see the paste here? Man? All of it's still there. Do you see it? And not just that, but look, it's starting to show like a little different shades there. Could be because it's dirty. Could also be because I burned something. Maybe it's one of those videos, don't do this. <laughs> Let's try one last time. This might be one of those, don't do this. Don't do what they tell you. Don't do what the YouTube guys say. It fell! <laughs> Ten. Eleven twenty-three. I'm going to do that one more time. That's enough for me, Kesen.
I'll just jump to the end and just let you know if it works or not. Three hours later.